Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about is rage quitting or rage quitting in Magic the Gathering. So rage quitting is when someone, uh, you beat them or somehow they lose, they're not playing. Even if they win, they can rage quit, which kind of happens sometimes. And it's when someone gets really mad and then they just um, make excuses of why they lost. And these excuses are things that we all pretty much variant. So either they had too much lands, they had too little lands, they didn't get the correct lands. If only blank, then I would have won. If only, and they would probably blame them losing on you somehow. They put the lost, their loss on you when it's not your duty and it's not your desired outcome for them to win. It's you want to win as well. So rage quitting is definitely something that I've seen a lot of in the community um, and they, it typically shows a very bad example, at least in the stores I go to, there is a bunch of children and if they notice that this behavior is going on, they might assume it is acceptable. Uh, and you know, I have seen many times when a, the same player, the same, yeah, it's the same guy, and he will have drafted some random deck that could had no chance to win. I would beat him, um, offer him to shake his hand, say saying good game, and he'll mumble something like, "Oh, you and me won because you got lucky" or something. So that's the nice way to phrase what uh, he normally says. And then he stomps off and then leaves. Uh, this happened a lot at pre-release too, uh, which I've never really understood because pre-release is a super casual event, like it should be. I never understood what the point of going to pre-release and trying to just, you know, be, you know, a competitive player at pre-release was, because that's not really the place for that. Uh, def even at FNM, not really the place to be incredibly competitive. It just doesn't really make uh, too much sense to me on a personal level. But rage quitting is something that is trendy and, and it is something that is more and more common as I see now and it's probably because people play a lot of online video games and that's extremely acceptable in that culture is when um, I, I see it in magic duels all the time as well where in magic duels they will you know you know luckily there's no chat so magic online there is a chat feature and some of the um, snap screenshots of the chat are just very toxic and very I mean, yes, you lost, and maybe you did get bad draws, but at the end of the day, everyone has that. It's not a unique occurrence to you. It's not like uh, a giant conspiracy that you didn't get that land at the time. It's just the nature of variance, which is a very big part of this game. So at the end of the day, uh, rage quitting sets a very bad example for younger uh, Magic players, and maybe it says, hey, I don't want to be part of this game anymore. And I know at um, in Texas, there was a store called Battle Bunker and it's bankrupt. And I you know, pretty much know why I bankrupt. It had a lot of people who just uh, could not accept losing. It was probably most, um, it, was prob it was just a very uncomfortable place to play. And I refused to play there after like going there twice. And then eventually it went belly up, which again is something that will happen because your casual players, your people buying the boxes, they're not going to want to go to a store where they're treated poorly and there's uh, one dude who's just rage quitting all over the place and that's acceptable or that's not, it's not acceptable, it's never acceptable, but that's not, um, the owner doesn't talk to that person and say, hey, you can't do this and then the culture of the store goes kind of down the tubes. Anyway, that's rage quitting. Do you guys have interesting stories? Leave me a comment below. Bye guys.